Hi, this is Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. <clears throat> Here to talk about a very strange subject. Now, I got inspired by this because I heard a phenomenal message this morning from a friend of mine. God really anointed her. And what I want to share with you are certain doors that open up to the dark side, so to speak, that open up to the demonic. Sometimes you don't realize <clears throat> you are playing with fire, excuse me. You're playing with fire. My former pastor used to call it warming yourself by the devil's fire. You know how kids play around the fireplace. They get their toys out and they want to have fun. Well, there are times when you want to have fun and you want to have fun near a fire, but the fire is not a fireplace. It is the fire of hell, the powers of darkness, the powers of the demonic, because to you, it is fascinating. And that's what the demons want you to feel, fascinated, because when you get caught up in their stuff, in their powers, in their workings, what you end up doing is opening a door and inviting the enemy to come in and begin to suck the life out of you. Bit by bit, you don't realize it because you think you're playing some games. But while you're playing, they're not playing with you. They hate you with the cruelest hatred. And they will do whatever it takes to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to share some stories. You ready? When I was playing with some guys at uh, a junior college, now we were in the dramatic group. We had a drama group that we had put together ourselves. And it was fun. <clears throat> but let me tell you, we started playing with something. And it wasn't scripts and acts and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, monologues. It wasn't any of that. What we started playing with was games like levitation. Yeah. And we would say things in a circle. And we get a person in the middle. And all we need is one little finger. And we would raise them up off the floor when we said the last few words. And he, he or she would be weightless. We could lift them as if we were all lifting up a piece of paper. Now, I want to tell you, we knew that was supernatural. We knew that. But we didn't know that we were opening doors. We didn't realize that because we, even though we were college students, were stupid. We were ignorant. We were silly. All of the above. And one word does not mean the other. So I'm saying this to warn you. Be careful what you play with. Be careful what you dabble with, because what you dabble with could turn around and kill you. My friend was sharing this morning at church, and she talked about how strange it felt to find something invisible around her neck, trying to choke her, trying to choke her the life out of her. She said the doctors couldn't explain why she had two week old periods, two week long periods and she was literally slowly bleeding to death. It wasn't until she gave her heart to the Lord that a lot of those demonic attacks stopped. Now, I say this to say, when you have Jesus in your heart, you have the best arsenal on your side. 
There's nothing demonic that can overcome the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Another arsenal you have in your weaponry is the word of God. That's another. Jesus fought with the word of God. Many times when he dealt with demons, he fought them by rebuking them with his authority. And when we carry the name of Jesus, we carry the same authority he had. So you don't have to continue to be tormented by demons. You don't have to. And if you're interested, I will share with you, after I finish sharing these doors that open up to the demonic, I will share with you on the next video how you can fight them. Now, one door <clears throat> is watching demonic movies, magic, incantations, all of that stuff in the movie, you need to stop watching them. I don't care if they are demonic cartoons. You need to stop watching them. Another one, you need to stop playing demonic games. These creatures that look like they come straight from hell. You need to stop playing with that. You need to leave the Ouija board alone. Don't mess with it. My friend talked today and talked about how she got so powerful with the Ouija board, she was playing it by herself. And it would tell her all kind of stuff. And if she wrote it down or said it out of her mouth, it would happen no matter how bad it was. You guys have got to stop. Because while you think it's the power that comes out of you is going to go and affect someone else's life, trust me, baby, the curse is boomerang. And they come back at you. And right now she has a child who is severely autistic, who has epilepsy, who has all kind of physical issues. Those are the kind of things that they do to blow up in your face once you've played with them. There are consequences to playing with the demonic. And I'm going to share something with you. My friend showed me this years ago. She was a pastor and she used to talk about how demons will come at you and you want to play with them and you want to toy with them because <clears throat> it's fascinating. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, anyway, so here she is. She uses this illustration. Let's say this is you and you just want to, let me, excuse me, this is the demonic. This is you. You just want to play. <clears throat> You're playing now. And you play. Watch my hands. You play. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's fascinating. Wow. Oh, my. Look at all that power. <laughs> this is fun. Ooh. <laughs> no. Let me. Leave me alone. Stop. And you have nights where something is choking you. Or you have sleep paralysis. Or you start seeing things move in your room. Or you start hearing things. Or you black out. And you don't know what you did. It gets scarier, weirder, freakier. And it happens way more frequently. And you can't do a thing about it. Now, it's not there to play with you now. It's not there to, to have a companion to toy with. It's not lonely. These demons hate you. These imps, they hate you with a cruel hatred. And the whole thing, according to the Bible, is to kill, steal, and destroy you. And guess what you're doing? 
you're opening the door. Come on in, guy. Yeah, we're having fun, buddy. Yeah, you keep having fun. You just keep having fun. And you're going to regret what it does to your life. There will be a scar that either you can never get rid of or curses on top of curses will happen in your life or your children's lives. Now what do you do? Interesting. Think about it. That's all. Next video coming up.